Good morning, everybody. PJ Anderson, Two Minutes with PJ. This morning I was studying in the book of Judges, and I came across a young man by the name of Gideon. Now, Gideon was from the tribe of Benjamin. He was very meek. He was threshing his wheat, uh, where they, where they uh, go ahead and do crush the grapes. And he was hiding from the Midianites, who were their enemy. Now, what, while he was doing so, an angel of God appeared unto him and told him that he was a great warrior and told him that he would be leading the Israelites against the Midianites and defeat them. And, um, of course, Gideon put uh, God and this, this messenger to the test, and uh, eventually the test was uh, completed. And yes, Gideon was obedient. First, he tore down the um, area of the of Baal, of Baal and, and the other uh, gods of his father. And then um, God led Gideon and the Israelites against many of the Midianites and their enemies. Uh, one time, um, God only chose three hundred of uh, the Israelites to defeat over 10,000 because God fought the battle for them. Now, Jesus also fought the battle for us. What happened is God sent His only Son, Jesus, into the world to die for our sins. And through our belief that Jesus is His Son and that He did die for us, uh, we are promised eternal life and will never perish. I know also in the last days that Jesus will again send Satan to Hades. And when we fight Satan, we are to put on the armor of God. And this, is, this will help us to withstand Satan every day. Yeah. Basically, we will gird our bones with truth, have the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet will be shot with of the preparation of the gospel of peace. We will have the shield of faith uh, that will uh, quench us against the fiery darts, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. God will fight your battles for you. You don't have to fight them by yourself. This happens through the gospel, through the word, which is found through the word. Our relationships, especially with Jesus and God and through prayer. Thank you again and have a blessed rest of the day. Thank you for listening to Minnesota Peace.